Hey guys, it's Jamie. Um, today I want to learn about the slice pipe with you guys. Um, basically, it's just a way of uh, slicing up a string or array uh, inside of your HTML code so that you can see only a portion of it. So I have a blank site here, and I'm going to declare a string inside of my own component. So that's going to be str, and I'm going to say equal to like a, b, c, d, e, f, g. Okay, so we have our string, and then inside the HTML, I'm going to display that string using the bracket syntax, so str, and then all i got to do um, <coughs> is pipe it through um, slice like this. Um, but actually, at the start, I'm just going to show you that it works just plain. All right, so there it is, a, b, c, d, e, f, g. Now, like I was saying, all you got to do is put the pipe right here, and then um, slice. Okay, now slice takes some arguments, um, so it's like where you want to cut the string up. Um, so the first argument is the start index. So if I start at index 1, um, that should leave out the A, so let's check that out. Alright, there it is, the A is gone. Um, and then the second index is uh, going to be the end index. So if I... Oh, and it's uh, inclusive, exclusive. So if I go 1 and then 2, I should have just b. So there it is, just b. Um, whereas since it's inclusive exclusive, if I um, started on 1 and ended on 1, then I should see nothing. And there it is, I see nothing. Oh, and something kind of interesting about these indices, you guys, is that um, they can actually be negative. So if I put 1, negative 1 here, that's going to go from index 1 to index length minus 1. So let's go see what that would be. So index 1 um, is going to be b, again, so 1, and then um, length minus 1. So how many characters does this have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it has 7 characters, um, <coughs> so that means that g is index 6 because a is 0, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So <coughs> index length minus 1 is 7 minus 1, which is 6, which is g. But remember, it's inclusive-exclusive, so it's going to be from B to uh, F, actually, because the G is excluded. So hopefully that made sense. Um, feel free to rewind if it didn't. Um, but basically, the negatives start from the end, okay? So refreshing our page, there it is. It's from B all the way to F, just like we thought. Okay, now let's try making it even more confusing, uh, because I know you guys are enjoying this. So I'm going to put negative 3. Um, so what I think that's going to do is basically index negative 1 is going to be the G, then negative uh, 2 is going to be F, and negative 3 is going to be E. So it's going to be uh, include the E, and then include the F, but then exclude the G, so it's going to be EF. Okay, so let's check that out. Yep, there it is, EF. Alright, now let's make an array and then try using split with that just to make sure that it works. So I'm going to have an array called r, and then I'm going to set it equal to um, a, or actually, <coughs> we'll, we'll start at just x, y, z. Okay, then in the HTML, I'm just going to copy the same code and then change this to be array. Um, and then first, I'm just going to make sure that um, it displays OK. All right, so there it is. That's how uh, Angular renders an array. And then if we put that slice back, and then let's say I just want to start with a slice starting at 1, and then I just want the rest of it. Um, we'll see what that looks like. Should just be YZ. Yep, there we go. Um, alternatively, we could have the same thing by just doing uh, negative 2. <coughs> There it is again, YZ, just in a more confusing way. All right, so that's all any human being should ever really want to know about the slice pipe. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.